What's up gamers? We're here with our draft analysis of the PWC. I am Dustin and this is going to be the one video I upload this season, so yeah, strap in. Our first pick is Tapu Koko. I picked him because it's a fast electric. Oh, first off, I was number three overall in the draft. We did a random this year, so that led me to get a great mom like Tapu Koko. I was very happy about that. I said Coco weird, but I was very happy about this because I've been wanting to use this mod for a while. It's a really fun mod, and I never really get to use it besides like some test games on the ladder. And yeah, it gets, it's my also one of my Z users, so 75% damage on anything automatically with a Z move I have. It has Taunt, Defog, which I got Volcarona, which I'll go over later, so I got a few Defogers. Two D fodders, maybe two Drio gets. I'm not sure, but two D fodders and a rapid spinner for my Volcarona support. And this thing's just really good in general. Really fast. Electric trains really nice. Trains always nice. Because if you get Mons like my second pick in the draft, Halucha, you get a uh, you get that speed boost. Halucha is also a flying fighting type. Has really good typing just for offensively because it covers a lot of typings. I don't think it has too many resist out there. I think it's only resist is um. Trying to think, I'm, don't really think it has any resist out there. It might, but it can hit basically everything for at least effective damage. It's not the bulkiest, but like Unburden is a great ability, Mold Baker is a great ability, so I'm gonna be using this thing a lot. My third pick was Volcarona. It's huh, a weird word, but yeah, Volcarona was my third pick. I picked Volcarona because uh, I like setup mons a lot. It's really good setup. It's also my other Z user, so like a plus one Inferno Drive or uh, Savage Spin Out. Um, Z Hurricane, like, there's so many high power base moves it gets that you can use Z with, and it's just really good. It's, it's good, guys. It is four times weak to rots, but you know what? We got some support for that, such as. Which I now go out of order. Why does it say superior? Also, I hope you guys like my page. I know Luna did. But, uh, I think my fourth pick was Primarina. I wanted a Primarina just because another mod I've been wanting to use. I know um, I think my fourth pick gave me dual fairy, so I gotta get something to like deal with these poison types. But Specs Moonblast or Spec Hydro Pump has really no switch ins. This mod has no switch ins. Even if you resist, you can just do do a decent bit. And with hidden powers, you can do a lot. It's decently bulky enough as bad speed, but I mean it's fine because two of my first four picks have really good speed. And Halucha, I mean uh, Halucha Volcarona is not that bad, so I mean yeah. What up? My next pick was I needed a rocker and something bulky because usually what I do is I don't get bulk until really too late and I'm getting like tier 4 and 5 bolts. But this season I was making sure to get some bulky that wasn't Tapu Fini. And I got Registill. Registill is a great rocker. I think it has, I think, 394, I believe. After, um, if you give like full, full defense on something like. Full defense bolt, I think it's 394 it gets for defense, has decent HP, so this thing can take hits for days. Just basically you're going to take hits, it's going to be like my initial switch in like a million things. But it's fine because what's weak to is like fighting types and uh, fire types and I have fire resist. I have um, Primarina is good to pair with it because I mean Primarina is not necessarily my bulky type but like I made this leftovers, or I made this pre bolty and this pre bolty These two resist most everything in the meta, so yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Next, we got um, I'll be honest, I don't remember the order. I think it was Crocodile. I picked Crocodile because I needed a ground type, just to make sure I didn't get Volt switched on all the time. And just ground's really good, it's a lot. And I needed a dart type, so Crocodile kind of covered both bases. He was two B. It's, I think he was. Let's see, there was two B. Yeah, he was two B instead of three this season. So that's why um, he was li around in the fifth round. He's pretty good. Scarf, Mopsy, Scar or just Bulky Intimidate. It gave me both those options. I was thinking about doing the, the trio just for that trapping and making people have to run uh, Shed Shell. But instead, I went with Halucha's. Um, I mean, I still went with. Cr I said Halucha for every freaking mod. Also, we're not going to cuss in our lives. We're not a PG channel. We have to make sure we look out for those gamers out there. But yeah. We have our next pick, which I believe was Reuniclus. I just like Reuniclus a lot. It's pretty bulky. You can make it, uh, you can run def really defensive 
with acid armor, and then you can run ice armor combine, which is a set I like to use. It's fun. You can uh, have regenerator and it has magic coat, so I mean, it can be a status taker, which is always really nice to have on your team, just someone who can take status hits for you. Or you can bring like spec regenerator. I've seen that before. Life orb offensive. Trick room. If I want to bring a trick room variant of this team one seat, uh, one time, I can. I mean, I'm not going to because my team's pretty fast. But I mean, I could bring trick room with this thing. It has a lot access to a lot of good things, and I like it. I like it. It's my friend. My next pick was Miss Magius. I wanted a fighting resist that uh. I was basically wanted something that was like a fighting immunity, and if I believe, yeah, I believe it right. This thing also has levitate, so levitate. Another ground immunity, basically. Because looking at my team, before like the do I have a lot of ground immunities, but just at first I was like I need another ground immunity. It also is pretty fast. It gets shadow ball, nasty plot, destiny ball, and a belief taunt. And it will was so it just has a lot of good use. It can fill in this team. Also, I need something to hit ghost types and psychics were. Uh, not a big problem with this team to be honest. It wasn't really a big problem at all, but like just it's nice to have a ghost type. Just I've seen this thing put in work and it's always a nice threat to have. If I face a uh, sniper's magic magic sham, it gives me basically a good counter to it. If I well maybe not a counter, if you use it instead, but but it gives me a nice check to it. And then after that was my next pick, Cryadrenal. This is a defaulter and a spinner. I just wanted something that I can make sure I wanted an ice type first off because ice types are really good to have offensively just because this one especially like has freeze dry has ice beam but I mainly got it for a rapid spin recover so it's basically another bulky type like my team has some decent bolt to it but it's not like a bulky uh like just kind of depend on toxic and installing team but it has enough like pivot it's good for pivoting around and this thing I just wanted for the Volcarona support and it was a tier 5 Amon so it was pretty cheap it takes damage from rocks, but again, it's good for getting rid of rocks. Next is my last picks, which is, I'm um, just going to go with Didrio. I want something that could, uh, I wasn't really thinking Halucha Bird's flying type at the end. I was like, I need a flying type for all those bulky grasses like Medivina and stuff. And this thing gets jump kick. So with the attack increase and jump kick and uh, swords dance. Swords dance, Brave Bird, return. It has a lot of powerful hits it can do. And I, my team at first was looking pretty, uh, even looking at it now, reason I wanted this was my team's looking pretty like special heavy so I made sure to get some towards the end of the draft make sure I got some physical hitters and then I got my receptile which isn't a physical hitter per se but you can run physical I ran physical swords dance before and it's worked well and I just got this mod kind of just because it's another electric resist I wanted a grass type to hit uh, waters because my only way to really hit waters on this team is uh, Tapu Koko, so it gives me another water hit. It's also my dragon type, because I need every team needs a dragon. So it's my dragon type. And yeah, that's my team. There's a crappy analysis I did, because I'm bored. So yeah, make sure to hit that like button, and subscribe, gamers.